His YouTube channel is the best. Oh one. yeah! <laughs> Thank you so much. No y'all just see that? Did y'all see that? If you don't already know, let me fill you in of what just happened. That was the ex-US Surgeon General of the United States of America. He's basically someone who's appointed by the President, confirmed by the Senate, and he's someone who's in charge of the entire public health agenda of the United States of America. And that was him calling out my YouTube channel. But anyway, let me, let me just introduce everything that's happening right now. I know I said the next video I would post would be a question and answer from you guys, but believe it or not, I had this whole thing come up beforehand where I actually got to meet the ex- uh, Surgeon General of the United States before that and I actually vlogged with him and then I wanted to share that with you guys because I asked him a question that I think about a lot myself and also a question I think a lot of you have on your minds and that's just kind of like how to deal with failures and how to keep things in perspective and I actually have him answer and talk to me so I wanted to share that moment with you guys because this man Dr. Murthy is the ex-Surgeon General. He is amazing. He's so insightful. I feel so grateful for, to have heard him talk. And the advice he shares is really something I took to heart and I hope you all take to heart too. The man is absolutely inspirational. And if you ever ever get a chance to hear him talk, I highly recommend you go because just hearing him talk for an hour definitely impacted my life and really how really changed the way I perceive medicine, what I want to do in the future. So with that, with no further ado, let me just introduce this. He is the man of the hour, the the ex-surgeon general vlogging with me. Oh my god, so cool. I am so excited to share with you. Check it out. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so awesome. Okay, wait, I have to ask you a question. Go so for it. a lot of the people watching this tend to be people who are trying to go into medicine. Huh. And I think you just mentioned a very important thing, which tends to be like, we tend to get very, very overwhelmed with very small stuff. You know, like in our world, it's like the biggest thing, like a chem midterm that I filled. Whereas the 99% of the world is, has bit bigger things to worry about. Oh, I'm just like shaking. <laughs> How exactly would you tell these people to kind of put things into perspective? How do you keep things in perspective when you, you know, know you have a hardship in front of you, but you also know like you're in a very privileged place? Well, it's tough. You know, medicine is a really intense profession, and uh, we're, many of us came to the profession for the right ideas and mm -hmm. for high ideals. We wanted to help people. We wanted to relieve suffering. Mm -hmm. But it seems like there's so many hoops that we have to jump through yeah. uh, to get there, whether it's exams or other requirements that we have to take. Mm -hmm. Well, those are important, uh, you know, taking exams, studying hard, making sure you've got your clinical skills. That's all important. Uh, but the bigger scheme of things, uh, we just, we have to remember two things. Like, one is that um, ultimately, it's those values uh, that are ultimately going to make us uh, good doctors. Mm -hmm. You know, we can we we'll learn the information that we need to learn. Mm -hmm. um, it may take some of us longer than others, but we will learn it. We'll get there. Uh, we'll get. There. I got a midterm in three days. I'll get there. But what's, <laughs> but what's a lot harder is if what's a lot harder is if we forget why we're there. Mm -hmm. And so we got to remember those values and anchor ourselves in the in the values of medicine. Mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes that requires just going and spending. A little time with patients, you know, mm -hmm. where you're not uh, talking to them about medicine, but you're just talking about who they are. You're reminding yourself mm -hmm. of why it is uh, that you're training to become a doctor. The last thing is make sure you keep people around you uh, mm -hmm. who know you, who know your values, and who can remind you uh, of you know what inspired you to go to medicine when you have those dark, difficult times and you forget. If you keep those kind of people around you, uh, as I've been uh, blessed to have, then uh, then they'll keep you on the path, and you'll ultimately do well. Oh my God. From the Surgeon General, everybody. Ex-Surgeon General. Can I, can I, can I like give you a hug? Absolutely. Oh my God! <laughs> and then can you say my YouTube channel is the best one out there? His YouTube channel is the best oh, one. Oh yeah! <laughs> Thank you so much. No oh my God. I like listen to that over and over again and I just keep getting more and more inspired. I hope you guys take something away from it because I really think that hit home for me. And I'm already in med school. And so I really hope it hits home for a lot of you because I think... He definitely hits the right points. You want to make sure you keep things in perspective, surround yourself with the right people, and surround yourself with the right values for going into medicine, and that will make all the difference. And I feel so, so, so happy to have heard him talk. Please go listen to him talk if you can. Uh, he and his wife, just two of the greatest people I've met ever. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video. Hope it made a positive impact on your day. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back with more great content uh, hopefully soon. But thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.